So we, uh, we decided to use Maxon motor because uh, it's, a, it's a product that we know uh, pretty well. Uh, we use it in the past so we know that it's, uh, the performances are, are stable and uh, knowing quite well the, the line of motors, uh, we could find one that was fitting perfectly our uh, application. We have implemented uh, the Maxon motor on, uh, to control the arm of our robots. So there is three um, motors in the arm, one on the shoulder, one on the elbow and one on the wrist. And um, the size was really important, but the accuracy was uh, even uh, more important. So uh, thanks to the embedded encoder uh, on the flat motor, we can guarantee a very high accuracy uh, of the motor. Uh, we choose the brushless motor from the series uh, EC, which is very flat and it was one of the mandatory uh, char characteristics that we need for, uh, for our application. Uh, so the motor is a high performing uh, one, but the encoder also, because there is the quadrature of the signal that allow a very precise uh, positioning and very quick uh, response. And there is also a whole sensor that allow us uh, together with the end signal of the encoder and uh, the magnetic absolute sensor of the output shaft to make a homing of the arm without touching any mechanical stop. So uh, this is also a very interesting uh, uh, behavior uh, that we could implement thanks to the Maxon uh, motor. The, the product is almost standard. Now uh, Maxon developed several uh, versions of this motor. So when we uh, discuss with, uh, with our contacts, we could find one product that has been already developed in the past and somehow it has been resurrected for, uh, for our application. But it's anyway a specific production uh, which is uh, done for, uh, for our application. To be honest, in the beginning, uh, it has been really difficult to get the first uh, samples. So the, the contacts are really good. I got many different contacts in Maxon and they are really uh, efficient. So we got the first uh, motors really late, but uh, I saw that all the team in, uh, in Switzerland that is following us closely was uh, pushing as much as they can to the production in order that uh, we can get our product uh, quickly. This was during the development phase. Now everything is settled and uh, uh, we have uh, recurrent uh, deliveries uh, from Maxon ongoing.